day two out here in Beaufort. Uh, we're actually heading to Hilton Head, but on the way to Hilton Head, we found a cool little thrift store called Os Osprey Village Thrift Store uh, between, I don't know, Beaufort and Hilton Head. I'm actually lost. But we're gonna go here, see if we can find a flip online for a profit. Five doll hairs for some um, light house made in China. I don't know about that. Got some cups. This is a very clean thrift store. Very, very clean. Some Pyrex. Shot glass is a dollar. These things are actually, if you could find the coffee uh, maker that they go to, go for good money. You know what this looks like? Broken in oh, the, in the oh, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although we, what, you, what, what I was getting at? Like, nah, it just looks like it, it would break. This thing's made in the United States. That's pretty cool. That's Anchor Hot Coffee Company. That's pretty cool, like a candy jar. My hand would, look, my hand, hand would get stuck. Can't do it. I'm on the hunt for a good set of knives and I haven't seen any yet. Is that a dollar? Echo? Echo, echo. Sunbeam? How much you got the sunbeams for? 12 bucks? Hmm. Pretty cheaper, cheaper knife. The entire store is 50% off, yeah. other than things Jewelry. marked. Jewelry and then um, marked 12. Oh, so that wouldn't be? No, that would be. It, it was saying like they're doing it by date. So this has been here since um, December 2023. 20, so that would be 50% off. Anything marked like February 2024 is still the same price, if that hmm. makes any sense. Some, oh, this is cool. Oh, that is cool. Okay, that would not be. That would not be, nope. No. No. You picked the only thing that is Obviously, not. Obviously, I would. Look at those. Are they, uh... oh, I thought they were planners. Oh, They're cool. Dollars. That's definitely a good buy. That's like Mother of Pearl again? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Mother of Pearl little box. It's that's cool. Pretty. Yeah, that's super cool. There you go. Very, very cool. Either I'm getting old or music is just so loud nowadays. <laughs> right? right there. What is it? Clemson Tigers. Oh yeah, Clemson Tigers. It's not old. It's made to no, look old. I know, I know, but it's like definitely in style. In style? Fifty percent off. Should be three bucks, I'm guessing. Really? Oh, we're getting this. Are we? Yeah. Oh, okay. We are getting that. Get me. Oh, sporting goods. That's what I want to see. Some sporting goods. Got some yarn here is killing me. I don't know how I slept last night at the Airbnb. It feels like I slept on my head though. Ooh, that looks like an old tight. Oh, these little things sell really, really well. Um, if you can get them for cheap enough. Right there, that little guy. He looks like he's in bad condition though. That's a nice one though. You want 30 bucks for them, so it'd be $15. Uh, it's just not in, it's actually a trash can. They actually put a trash can thing in here, which is nice. It's very well built. Which one is this? It says Atlantic on the bottom. Genuine cowhide, top grain. That's actually really nice. Uh, I might have to look this one up for the Atlantic. Looks like the white ones do not sell. Brown ones sell for 60, that one sold for 32. Um, have to leave that one behind but if it was a little bit cheaper or better condition i'd probably buy it it's a nice book bag it's all beat up up there they have a um olympus uh camera up there i probably won't be able to film it because it's behind the glass but if it's for 40 bucks i might get it because they usually run like 200. it says it retails for 170 so we'll see if they'll take 50 percent off of that and you got the coat or the sweat pullover and the little box yeah. so 50 percent off sales that's yeah. We don't have that down by us. No. You kind of got to grab what you can grab. What are you, a little point arrow outlet? Huh. 
you see the planters over here? Yeah. You're being very picky now on planters because you got so many. Paid up for this little guy, 50% off. That's actually a nice little thrift store for sure. I mean, 50% off is pretty good. The Olympus is a really good camera, and especially this model is a really, really good. Um, this is the Olympus Stylus Zoom 140 Deluxe. I'm probably gonna make easy 40 to 50 bucks. Only if it was 80 bucks, wouldn't have bought it. But for 40, I'll pay up for it. The uh, battery was good in it, and it turned on. It even comes with a little book, so it's an easy flip. I would usually not do that, but to be honest with you, to make an easy $50, that ain't too shabby. We have made it to Hilton Head Island. Hilton Head Island, uh, as I remember it, is pretty wealthy area, I'm pretty sure. And we're actually at a Goodwill. Kayla says it is, on the door it says it's a boutique, but on the website it says it's a regular Goodwill. So we'll go in here and see exactly if it's the boutique or if it's the uh, the regular Goodwill. So this is a regular Goodwill. Mm -hmm. So it's not an actual boutique. Boutique, uh-uh. Bad boy, what is that? Bad boy. What? Understand that. Could you do some more with this in the booth? Pork tops. Oh, wow. I know. Do you have like some Myrtle Beach sand? Yeah, something. For you people out of town? Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. You don't have a price. I could ask you. Oh, you might want to grab the bag. Looks like it's about ready to give up. <laughs> I guess what well, they have buggies here. Team no cart strikes again. Yeah, this is this is a nice go world. Look at that big JBL DVD. I ain't never seen something that looks like that before. Oh, me neither. That's that huge. look at it's like a set, I guess. Maybe. Oh, that's like a big receiver. Uh, I don't know about that. They're asking forty bucks. $5. That's pretty good for five bucks, yeah. You could do something interesting in there. Alright, so it looks like Kayla has made access to the uh, the secret spot with the glass. Looking at jewelry, and also, we just met Andy. He walks in, we've been in here for 10 to 15 minutes. He walks in, immediately finds a Patagonia and gives it to us. Here's our channel. It says here you go he doesn't like selling clothing or doesn't sell a whole bunch of clothing it's not his forte but we do appreciate it because we'll definitely get this it is a 489 and that ain't too bad very clean probably go for 30 40 bucks some michelin man on the back of them these are babylon shoes tennis shoes little michelin man that's pretty neat oh oh a bag of jewelry she's holding it for me holding it for you yeah. that's what i just found Another, another, one. another Patagonia. And another, and another one. one. An extra large. These aren't like super valuable, but still probably 15, 20 bucks. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. I was coming up here to take a look. They have a lot of nice golf shirts. They have a Travis Travis Matthews is actually a pretty good brand. Not so much this in particular one. It's pretty war and it's got a stain on it. But some of his stuff goes for good money. So I was like, you know what? I'll go through. What we're seeing here is if you agree, I don't think that there's a volume of resellers down here. Yes, absolutely. Because that would never be on the, like, Track. we, we walked no. in and Andy helped us and found yeah. one Patagonia for us. And then another one, they're only on the racks down by us. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me think, what's on the racks when they come out? Right? Like a good idea to get a jewelry bag from this area. Yeah, did she say she that? She said that they don't go through it. She said really? They, they stick it in a big pile. She said, because I work in the back. She said, we just throw it in the back. So that mm -hmm. makes me even more. How many they got? You want to buy all of them? I, mm, no, I think I'll just do one. You just want to do one? If we find something good, we'll come back. back. Yeah. I just could not help myself. With the us being in Hilton Head Island, I got a bag of jewelry. Bag of jewelry. Now, she said that they do not go through it right. they said when they come in they just pile it in the bag and they wrap it up and they put it for 40 bucks so there could be some super good stuff in there then you saw us grab that and then the two patagonias i think that this place would be like a gold mine i feel like this would be a good goodwill i honestly think that these are we're finding good stuff but also we're seeing the ability to find a lot of stuff because there's not a lot of people in here 
uh, in Myrtle Beach, Myrtle's Inlet, at any given time, there's 30 people in there, 20 of them are resellers. And Especially around this time. It's yeah. Like 12 o'clock. There's like nobody in that store. So we're thinking that this spot is like, we're coming back, oh, is yeah. what I'm saying. But um, I think there's four or five more thrift stores on the island. Mm -hmm. On to the next. I know I keep saying this, but these trees down here are amazing. Look at the size of that tree. How old do you think that tree is? I saw 200, 300, 400 years old. Look at the size of that tree. That big old tree. Another stop is gonna be the Sunrise Thrift Store right across the street from the Goodwill on Hilton Head. But check this out. You know there's a big alligator living in that thing. If I was an alligator, I'd live there. How much are they? 25. Hmm. Got some good looking Allen Edmonds here. They just don't sell for that much. 10 bucks on them. Waterville's usually go for like 25 if they even sell. But, but these are the Allen Edmond Sea Island. And these are good. Only nine bucks. Suede. Very little wear on the back. That's a good pair of shoes right there. Good pair of shoes. That thrift store was a little bit high, but nine doll hairs for these. They were like the cheapest shoes in there. These are like $65 shoes. Easy in that condition. Super nice. Allen Edmonds. The insides look almost like brand new. They got a little scuff on the side, which really is not a huge deal. But I'm telling you, they're not shabby. They've still got some life left. And look how thick that is. That's some thick leather. All right, I've actually lost count of how many places we've been but this place is called the bargain box and we're still on the island of hilton head which is a lot bigger than i thought kayla has ran ahead of me seems to be actually one of the more popular places because the goodwills aren't this crowded so let's go in here see if we can find a flip online for a profit 75 bucks that my friend is a very expensive kennel that's a very expensive kennel mm-hmm a velociraptor kennel, exactly. Put your favorite dinosaur in here. <laughs> that thing is, you look that kennel up, I guarantee it's a $400 kennel. Orvis? Yeah, it's got the Orvis thing on it, which is neat. But that right there, that's a kennel and a half. Yeah, absolutely. That's cool. $4. For root. Hey, that's that same company. Brand, yeah. Brand that we sold the Barbie one. Mm -hmm. Four bucks. Yeah, crossbody stuck on my hand. <laughs> Shoulder's not working too well. There's a Jessica. No, that's not. Is that Jessica Simpson? Can't see nothing. Dollar rack. I'm a big fan of the dollar rack. Banana Republic on the dollar rack? What is that? This place is nuts, but I did find a RBZ, 15 bucks, but the flex is good, grip is good. It's an M-Flex, last one sold for like $60. What is this guy down here? This looks quality. Commercial aluminum, six bucks. Pretty nice. What is this thing right here? Is that a, ooh. Two piece, five bucks. That's an older one. For sure, that thing's pretty nice for two bucks. Does that have a wobble? No, she's like flat as flat can be. Okay. I can't see what that one says. Just leaving the bargain box, also known as the bouncing box. <laughs> <laughs> That so place, that there. place is jumping. I at mean, the not Nobody jumping. There. Yeah, but good deals too at the bargain box. Yeah. Their name, uh, only five bucks for that. That's easy, twenty bucks. Uh, and it's in really good condition. It has no wobble or anything like that. It's a Revere wear, copper bottom. Easy to clean up on that one. Uh, this one right here, look it up. The only reason why I bought it is it's an M Flex with the good shaft. This probably fifty to sixty dollars. I think the next stop is going to be lunch. And then on to more. All right, still on Hilton Head Island. We're at a place called the Church Mouse. Um, super nice place and like a little high end area maybe. We're going to here and see what, they can, what we can find a flip line for a profit. All right, sadly in the Church Mouse, you can't take a book bag in. And that's what I wear on my back right now is a small book bag. So we're going to throw a bag in the car and we're going to do this all by our hand. They usually clip you all on my book bag. 
I found some cocoa in here, but I don't know if I just open this thing up and grab it or what. But there's two back here for six bucks. That's really nice. SK for a book. What's we got in here? SK for two. Two bucks. Good. The ones are nine. Dollar. Dollar. Oh, eight bucks. Dude, that's a lot of stuff in there. She said I might find a For twenty dollars? Does it say 26? I'm buying, I'm buying this for 26. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Hmm. Two dollars for the baby shower. For the baby shower. For my brother and his wife. Perfect. The baby. And what I was saying in there and kind of whispering right here, two cutcos saw these from like a mile away and then the sk i got on video and then this we're going to go back actually back to the airbnb and go through the box here look at the old pal that's a cool box number that one cool. yeah and it came with all the contents for 26 bucks that ain't too shabby we're going to go ahead and walk the dog or do something because she says get me out of this kennel but it's safe it's the safest way to travel with a dog is in a kennel because if not it's just safer so on to the next So these items right here were from the Church Mouse Thrift Store. And uh, I actually thought the Cutco's were gonna go for a lot more money than they did. I probably wouldn't have bought these knowing how much they go for. They actually only go for like maybe 12 bucks and I paid six bucks for them. So maybe I made $10 on both of them, which I guess it's still a profit, but not as good as I thought. These right here, I knew that these were $10 a piece and they are little SK guy right here. He's worth 10 bucks and I got them for a dollar. This one right here, another one is gonna be worth $10. They're in good condition, you just gotta wipe them down. And another ten dollars there. Another SK tool right here. That's gonna be another ten bucks. I only got it for a dollar. And then the Craftsman. This was two dollars, and it's worth about ten to twelve. So that's not bad. You're talking forty bucks. It only cost me what two, three, four, five, five bucks and forty. But here is the interesting one. Uh, Twenty-six bucks for the entire case here. I have not looked up the old pal, but by the time I do this video, I'm sure I'll put up a soul comp. It's very nice old tackle box that's what drew my eye to it then i saw box and contents and i was like well what's inside of it right so all you gotta do is lift her up somehow there you go and once i opened it i did see this old guy right here i thought this was an older looking some of these older looking uh lures can go for big money this one doesn't appear to have a name on it and nothing on his bill here. And nothing right there. Cordell's on that one. Red fin. So you got a couple there. Even if they're worth $2 a piece, we're only at $6. And then that guy right there, Fred, the mud bug. We'll be looking him up. Look at this little spinning guy right here. I mean, if these are $2 a piece, I'll probably have more than 10 bucks in these little lures to this guy. It says spot on it. They're all from base, it the, looks like the company Cordell, which isn't too bad. Uh, on this side, there are a couple more little things here. Got some hooks, worms, but inside here, Fluger, it's a Fluger something, I'll have to look that up. It says it's a knobby maybe, made in Norway. Got a little bit loose handle too, but I'll definitely look that up. And then this guy looks, look at this thing. Another one. That's really cool. But for 26 bucks, I couldn't pass up on it. Uh, I'll be looking up those. It's an old stringer right here. That's pretty cool. These are used rope ones now. But definitely a cool box and the cool things inside of it. What is that? A little split shot? That's a cool little tin. Man, I would drop that in the water faster than I could do anything. That, that thing is small. So I got this bag of jewelry at the Goodwill that we went to in Hilton Head Island. So I'm gonna open it up and see if there's anything good in here. Well, for starters, they tape this thing up so good. I mean, you can't even get into this thing. Willow, help me, help me out. Well, I finally got it open. 
so ready to dive in. I'm already seeing some pretty good pieces here. All right, I'm gonna need two hands to do this. And I'll show you guys what I found. So, didn't find any gold or silver, but I did find a lot of cool bracelets. Um, these are magnetized actually, and then a lot of cool necklaces that are that have like the wood beads and things like that. Then I found a lot of like bracelets like this, and I actually do have name brands here. I'll have to look it up to see exactly what that is, but it does come with the earrings also. So I'll have to look those up to see if they're worth anything. And then this is a Sorelli necklace. I'll show you the name right there. I have actually seen a bracelet that I actually sold on Whatnot. So I do know that these go pretty well and this is a necklace. So not too bad. I mean, these are all sellable pieces. So I think a really good day out there thrifting on Hilton Head Island. I will tell you this, we will definitely be back. Probably not on the on season because this is the off season down there. Although we did talk to a couple people that said a lot of snowbirds, people that come up from north and stay in Hilton Head Island uh, are down there. So it's kind of full, but it's nowhere near as busy as it is in Myrtle Beach or Myrtle's Inlet. So kind of like a little hidden gem there that we're definitely going to visit again. I do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, if you're not Subscribe, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always catch you on the next one. All right, we have found one thing out about Beaufort, though. They have a bedtime. Yes, they do. They ain't like Myrtle Beach. <laughs> Myrtle Beach is open until 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 5 a.m., doesn't really matter. Uh, here, they close everything up at 5 o'clock other than restaurants. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go back and uh, relax and then have a big day of thrifting tomorrow.